Autobiography, at auction we would say $500 to oh. $700. Wow. Okay. The death card, I would probably put this in the $700 to $900 oh, okay. range. The business card, several examples of this have sold right. recently. Yeah. They're in the $2,000 to $3,000 market. The value of the signed brand sheet would be between $4,000 and $6,000 wow. okay. at auction. But yeah, this is your star piece. Right. It's probably $15,000 to $20,000. Wow. Okay, a lot more than I thought. I'm, I'm very, very happy. That's, uh, I just love this stuff. I love the Old West. I love the uh, outlaw versus lawman and how there was the finest line when law enforcement was involved. It could be manipulated, I guess, a little bit. I started collecting, I think, some like White Earp and uh, Pat Garrett stuff, law enforcement um, related stuff. And then as, as I read more about him, he intrigued me. John Wesley Harden is probably one of the most notorious Texas outlaws. He started his career, I think, when he was 14 or 15, uh, killed his first person, and then uh, continued from there post-Civil War uh, with Reconstruction in Texas, got involved with a lot of law enforcement scuffles. He was obviously very intelligent. He became an attorney in prison, self-taught basically in prison. Got the governor to give him a pardon after he was released. He was probably a very charismatic, very charming person. I'm sure tons of people just would love to gather around to watch him, to watch the old gunfighter shoot. He was 45 um, at this time, but he was still one of the, he would just sit there and practice with his guns. So I know everybody would line up to, I, I would have. I'm sure he did it during some sort of town square deal. I'm sure he was doing it to either promote himself or promote the saloon that he had a partial ownership of. He more than likely used a Colt Lightning or Colt Thunder uh, double action revolver. From what I've read, his uh, landlady said that he would just come into the house, unload his guns, and just sit there and fan the triggers, just practicing shooting constantly. So I'm sure this was, I mean, just nothing for him. This was just easy. It's not the typical Faro card that he would shoot. It's what they call a triplicate card that was produced in 1870. I wish I had a time machine I could go back and see this stuff. It would have been phenomenal to just meet the person, you know.